Hey, YouTube. Now I am frustrated. I did a whole 27 to 28 minute live yesterday. And it never recorded my sound. I don't know what happened with StreamYard. There was no sound. It was just recorded. So if you were there, you heard it. But if you wasn't there, you just seen a black screen. That's it. So I'm going to tell it again. Because that was the most insightful thing that has happened to me in a minute. So here we go. Yesterday, I went to the river. And while I was at the river, when I went to the river, I always go because it relaxes me. So I seen this gentleman that is usually there on the weekends when I go. And uh, he's of the other color, persuasion. And he said, hey, how are you doing? I said, hey, now, hey. Like that. And he said, um, boy, this is a beautiful day. I said, I know, you know. So he went on and just kept looking at the water. So was I and everything. And he broke up a conversation. And I, you know, said some stuff. And then we got quiet again, still looking at, you know, the water. And then he said, can I bounce something off of you? I said, sure. So he said, I'm going to show you something. And I said, okay. So he got up. He handed me this, his phone. And he said, you see all these little dots and navigation things. I said, yeah. He said, that is planes. Airplanes. And I said, wow. He said, yes. All of those are airplanes. He said, those airplanes is at least carrying at least 10 people on them. He said, so at one time, you may have a million people flying in the air. He said, think about our very intelligent people of 100 years ago. He said, our scholars, our mind people, our engineers and stuff like that from 100 years ago. He said, imagine them sitting at this picnic table with you and we're, you know, they're talking, they're telling you what they're going to do. And I come and say, hey, you guys, in a hundred years, we're going to have at least a million people at one time flying up in the sky. He said, one, you all would, wouldn't be able to fathom that because it would be inconceivable at that stage in that time. He said, now just imagine the brilliant, the most brilliant people now, our scholars, our engineers, and all this and stuff, sitting at the same picnic table a hundred years later, which is this, you know, this time. He said, and imagine somebody coming from the future, said, hey, you know, in a hundred years, you're not even going to be able to do that. The technology is so far advanced that this is what's going to happen, and this is what's going to happen. And we will be saying, that's impossible. Oh, I can't even, I can't even fathom that that's going to happen now. Now, that's too futuristic. Okay. And I said, wow. I said, you really got me thinking. You know, I said, that's, that's true. Like a um, hundred years ago, who would have thought that the Wright brothers or whoever made the planes, that the planes would actually do this, you know, that you showed me. So anyway, he went back and he sat down and he was telling me about an author of a book. And that intrigued me. So he said he has the book at home and, well, I'm skipping some. So anyway, and I was like, wow, well, I'm going to have to look that book up. He said, you get, you get what I'm saying. I said, yeah, I said, because I think like that. Anyway, so I'm sitting there. And I just, ha I just happen to say, and there is no coincidences. That's what I'm saying. There's no coincidences. There's only divine appointments, okay? Divine setup, divine appointments. So, um, he said, no, I said, well, I thank you for uh, confirming. And I said, I thank you for the confirmation <clears throat> and confirming that I made the right pick in stock. And he turned his head around and looked at me. I said, oh, yeah. 
I said, because my stock, and I told him. And he's like, what? He screamed. He's like, oh, my goodness. You are very brilliant. Who would have thought that, you know, somebody would actually be investing in this particular stock, the man, you know, that he had brought up. And he said, oh, my goodness. He said, let me tell you something. I said, okay. He asked, because I said, I said, plus, I don't mess with it. I just let it ride. I peek at it every now and then. Let it ride. I don't mess with it. He said, yeah. He said, well, wait a minute. He said, I'm a carpenter. He said, I do that because it relaxes me. He said, but for five years, four to five years, he said, I was a stockbroker for Wall Street. Get into it, y'all. Do y'all understand how divine setup it was? Now, we talking about river and how things have manifested for 100 years and how in 100 years more things may be. And I mean, me and him is really talking some stuff. If people walked up, they'd be like, what the world are they talking about? You know, and for me to tell him, thank you for confirmating that I made the right investment in stock. And for him to turn around and tell me he used to work on, he used to be a stock broker for four, to, between, uh, he, I think he said four years. So I'm just going to be safe and say that. He said, and he wasn't getting any joy out of it. So he went back to being a carpenter. So this is, this is divine to me for more than one way. One is divine because God sets up appointments. There is no accidents. He sets up appointments. He had already predestined me to talk to this man. This man I see every weekend when I go out there. That's how we speak to each other. And we never got on the subject of that we got on that day. But I was laying in the bed. And I heard God say, go to the river. So I got up. Washed up. Put my clothes on. Got my keys. Headed to the river. And he was sitting there. Who knew but the man upstairs how that was going to go. So God was telling me, keep listening to me. Keep following me. And I'm going to show you what I need from you. And I'm going to show you how to do X, Y, and Z. But you got to be obedient and you got to listen. And this clarity, even more, it just became more clear as I started cutting people off that are negative. That are, that are emotional vampires. That are distractions. You see what I'm saying? That's not bringing anything to your life but distraction. So, and then, did you check out what his, what his profession was? He used to be a stockbroker. And I brought up stocks and never knew it. And he gave me some tips and told me what to do. And he said, you are very intelligent. You are smart. He said, because you started buying stock, not so you can take the money out Thursday, but so you can have a future. And you made a very wise and intelligent buy. But check out what his second, but the, but the job that he loves. He's a carpenter. Wasn't Jesus a carpenter? Because he learned from Joseph. See, y'all don't see it the way I see it. And that's good and that's okay. Only thing I'm going to tell you is don't miss your divine opportunity. When God brings people in your life to make you better or make a difference in your life, learn how to treat the gift that he gives you. Learn how to take what he's what what they're giving you and apply it. Some of y'all talk so much, you don't listen. You talk so much, you don't you don't receive the the, the very blessing that God is trying to give you because you know everything. You're rebuttaling everything. Nobody is going to fight you to help you. I'm not. I don't get to a point now when it gets like it, I go, oh, okay. Because especially when you have people trying to tell you what you think, that you don't mean what you're saying, um, that whatever the case may be, okay. Because here's my thing. I'm a good friend. I'm a real friend. And I'm there. But when you show me that you're not my friend, uh, when you show me that it's one-sided, uh, when you show me 
that you're untru- that you're not trustworthy and that you're sneaky and all these other things, I backs up. And I mean, I retreat with the quickness because guess what? You'll never tell me now. You'll never stop where I'm trying to go. So everything happens for a reason. A person can only pretend for so long and then the real them emerges. And Maya Angelou says, when a person show you who they are, believe them. So I was so upset when I just tried to, because first StreamYard hadn't, hadn't uh, sent it to YouTube. And I'm like, what is going on? It's been a whole 24 hours. And then when I came on her and I saw it, I'm like, let me listen just to make sure that they heard me. And it was blank. All that good information. I mean, because I, I really broke it down in some details, but... I'm just saying, this is to somebody. Do not miss your divine opportunity. Once the door is open, step therein. Once you receive knowledge, this this, this is lady girl, this girl, this lady named TC. When TC talks, I shut up. Because I can always tell when wisdom is talking and when wisdom has found me and wants to sow wisdom in me so that I can grow wiser. So when she talks, I I shut up. It's not that I'm not intelligent. I'm very intelligent. But God has sent people at different times to give you a seed. And it's your job to protect the seed. And allow it to flourish. So, you know, like I said, man, this man was talking when he said all that. And he screamed when I told him about you know, the stock I bought and everything. He was, I mean, he was just so impressed. Like, wow. So, I don't care what you think. Never have, never will. But for whoever support me and you get what I'm saying, this is to you. This is to you. It's time, beloved. It's time to embrace the goodness. It's time to embrace the blessings that is coming your way. Like I said, learn how to protect the gift that God has given you. If God sends you somebody and they're a gift to you and they're different and there's you can tell you know that this was a divine setup. You know there is no way in Hades that this should have ever happened. And because it did, you know it's the man upstairs. It's just something you feel. Well, if you don't know how to treat a gift, it goes away. And some of y'all be another another lifetime waiting on it to come back. So don't kill your seed. Don't kill your gift. Don't block your gift because you don't know what to do. Uh, Because you got so many hang-ups. Or because you're stuck in life that you hinder it. Or that you push your blessing away. That's all I want to say. I hope y'all got something from it. It's on and up from here. All right. God bless. Smooches.